Let us attend. Let thy mercy, O Lord, be upon us. Rejoice in the Lord, O ye righteous. Wisdom. The reading is from St. Paul's second epistle to the Corinthians. Let us attend. Brethren, the one who sows sparingly will also reap sparingly, and the one who sows bountifully will also reap bountifully. Let each one do according to what he has proposed in his heart, not grudgingly or under compulsion, for God loves a cheerful giver, and God is able to make all grace bound to you, that you having always all suffi sufficiency in all things may abound to every good work, as it is written, he has scattered abroad, he has given to the poor, his righteousness endures forever. Now he who supplies his seed to the sower and bread for food will supply and multiply your seed for sowing and increase the harvest of your righteousness. You will be enriched in all things for every generosity, which works through us thanksgiving to God. Peace be to thee that readest. <clears throat> Wisdom attend, let us hear the Holy Gospel. Peace be to all. The reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Can you put this on the shelf for me? Thank you, Michael. On the, just, yeah, in there somewhere. Let us attend. At that time, there came to Jesus a man named Jairus, who was a ruler of the synagogue. And falling at Jesus' feet, he besought him to come to his house, for he had only one daughter, about 12 years of age, and she was dying. As Jesus went, the people pressed around him, and a woman who had had a flow of blood for 12 years and had spent all of her living upon physicians and could not be healed by anyone came up behind him and touched the fringe of his garment. And immediately her flow of blood ceased. And Jesus said, Who was it that touched me? When all denied it, Peter said, Master, the multitudes surround you and press upon you, and you say, Who touched me? But Jesus said, Someone touch me, for I perceive that power has gone from me. And when the woman saw that she was not hidden, she came trembling and falling down before him, declared in the presence of all people why she had touched him and how she had been immediately healed. And Jesus said to her, Daughter, your faith has made you well. Go in peace. While Jesus was speaking, a man from the ruler's house came and said, Your daughter is dead. Do not trouble the teacher anymore. But Jesus, on hearing this, answered him, Do not fear, only believe, and she will be well. And when Jesus came to the house, he permitted no one to enter with him except Peter and James and John and the father and mother of the child. And all were weeping and bewailing her. But Jesus said, Do not weep, for she is not dead, but sleeping. And they laughed at him, knowing that she was dead. But taking her by the hand, Jesus called, saying, Child, arise! And her spirit returned, and she got up at once, and Jesus directed that someone should be given to her to eat. And her parents were amazed, but he charged them to tell no one what had happened. 